All right, this is an update on the uh, hydrate cell, the crystal cell project, and a couple other things here. And uh, I took this apart today. Uh, this is the John Bedini hydrate cell that I made. And um, it did not look like this. I rebuilt it. I took it all apart and rebuilt it. And uh, what had happened on this is uh, I got, did something wrong or I used the wrong materials, and it was a galvanic cell. And um, it may have had some of the characteristics of the John Bedini hydrate cell, but uh, what I produced there was a galvanic cell. And the uh, electrode, uh, the magnesium looked like that. And this is out of another cell that I built that was purely galvanic. And this was probably a copper and uh, magnesium um, cell of some kind that I made. And the bottom of that magnesium piece right there, the bottom of it and the edges looked like that. And I cleaned it up real good and used the same crystal mixture, which you notice it's kind of got a bluish tint, had cupric oxide in it, I believe, um, cuprous or cupric, I'm not sure which. Anyway, I um, mix it up with a tiny amount of water to make it um, more of a paste and reassembled the cell and cleaned it all up. And this is the original piece of magnesium. It's just on the bottom and the edges it had uh, deteriorated through a galvanic reaction. But it came back very, very strong. And it's strong enough to run this um, exciter. And then I'm going to show a couple of other things over here too. These are a couple of my penny oscillators. There's a penny number one and penny number two. And I've got them connected to Averminkel plugs um, close to this aluminum block which is attached to the uh, exciter. Now penny number one has been running for over six months on this uh, IB pointless stovetop cell and this finally gave out a couple of days ago. It's still got a little bit of voltage on it but uh, I'm going to take it apart and see what that's like. But that ran penny for over six months and uh, that was an extremely successful um, experiment. But let me start this up right now. This is going to show the energy coming off the aluminum block. I'm going to show both of these oscillators running. And you're going to hear them on the radio. Um, over here, I've got um, a uh, tester to show the energy coming right off of the cell when I start this exciter up. I was getting over 100 milliamps off of this at about 1.3 volts when I first put it together uh, the second time. It's extremely strong, but like I say, I think what I have here is a galvanic cell. It's just a strong one. I, I'm stronger than uh, what I've made before. Let me start this up. You'll see this come on when I, when I hit the switch here. You'll see it come on here. There's that. And there goes these. Now I can adjust both of these oscillators with just the small one. And this is something else that people are investigating right now is the link up between these penny oscillators, uh, these blocking oscillators. Remember these are being fed wirelessly through the air from the uh, energy that's being uh, fed uh, from this uh, exciter. Let's speed this up a little bit, give it a little more power. that on. There's that on. Now listen to the oscillators as I rev them up. Now I can also increase the uh, power by bringing this closer to the pennies. If I touch the pennies they come on really strong. And this is being run by this hydrate cell right here. Let me show you the power right at the cell here. Even off the crystal.
hard to see this because it's daylight. I'm in the living room. But this, uh, this whole cell is uh, energized. Of course, this aluminum block is energized too. So anyway, that that's what uh, I just wanted to uh, report on was I've got uh, both pennies uh, now available for testing now that the IB pointless cell has run out after six months. And uh, I'm going to be investigating the synchronization between these two oscillators and how they sync up. And uh, that's going to be one of the things I'm going to focus on right now, among other things, is the link up, the capacitive link up between these two oscillators especially when they're being fed wirelessly. And I don't know how long this, um, this new cell is going to run for, but uh, I'm going to continue to work with this thing. It is a fascinating thing. This is a crystalline structure, this structure around the magnesium. But what I have built is a galvanic cell. And um, I either got one of the ingredients wrong, I didn't prepare the ingredients correctly, or the magnesium is not pure. And this is one of these fire starters, and that could be the reason that uh, the magnesium uh, went away was the lack of purity in it. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. That's the latest uh, update on my crystal cell project and the penny oscillators. Thanks for watching.